Hey people, it's me again. Sorry I've been uh, away for a while. The past three weeks have been just a royal pain in the ass. Been doing a lot of work with CAD software and 3D printing and trying to catch up on things with the greenhouse because <laughs> we had a little bit of fair weather. 75 degrees one day, next day they're going, yeah, five to eight inches of snow. They weren't lying. Um, but as you can tell by the title of this video, uh, rants, tips, and tricks in my normal style, I'm going to start off with a rant. And it's really nothing big, but I keep getting comments from people on these videos and uh, private messages sent to me from these little snowflakes, uh, cream puffs, whatever you want to call them, crybabies is what they are, uh, saying, you know, making sure to tell me that they're not going to subscribe to my channel because I said something bad about... Uh, the zip grow towers or they saw something in the comments where other people were ragging on Nate and I didn't delete those comments just it's verbal masturbation that's all there is to it and you know I don't have time to deal with that stuff I'm going to show you something if you're not going to subscribe I'll show you something here on my uh, YouTube dashboard you see this little number right here, this 279? These stats are rolling over the past 28 days. In the past 28 days, I've added 279 subscribers, and that number doesn't really change. It's always somewhere around that. You'll see I have 6,701 subscribers right now. So if you don't subscribe, I hate to bust your bubble, uh, Telling me that you're not going to subscribe doesn't break my heart one bit because, and even if you unsubscribe, uh, 10 more people are going to be coming along to take your place today. That's all I have to say about that. Um, as for saying anything bad about the Zip Crow Towers, you know, uh, when I built the V Towers, I built 10 of them as part of a very extensive project or experiment to debunk their actual worth if those things were really worth $70 a piece. No, they're not. And I proved it. Instead of just building one tower where people are going to say, yeah, well, you only built one. That doesn't prove anything. Okay, so I built 10. So I had a better uh, set of results, you know, spread across 10 towers. Um, I found all the problems in it, and I have stated numerous times in the past what all of those problems are, but people keep posting comments on that original video asking, well, geez, what problems did you find? <sighs> Not repeating it, but if you want to build those things, you go right ahead, because you'll find out what the problems are. Your problem, not mine. Um, and then the people ragging on me about not deleting the negative posts about Nate in the comments of my videos. You know, it it doesn't matter that Nate went to college and got this PhD and all that. Uh, if someone's full of shit and other people want to call him on it, there's no problem with that. Look at it this way. When uh, Jim and Tammy Faye Baker were fleecing the masses, um, was anybody calling bullshit on them? No, not until they actually got busted and sent, you know, sent to jail for it. But, you know, I didn't have to go to Bible college and uh, study theology to know that those two were fleecing the masses, they selling salvation in their PTL club, which is no different than Nate. He's essentially an evangelist selling salvation in his products and Nate's videos are nothing more than the equivalent of Jim and Tammy Faye's sermons. That's it. Jim and Tammy Faye were telling you uh, the same old shit that's been repeated out of the Bible for thousands of years 
and Nate is doing nothing but posting videos, sermons, repeating the same stuff that's been on the internet for, you know, 10 years or more. There's no difference. Religious evangelist or aquaponics evangelist, both of them selling salvation and feeding you sermons. So I guess if you want to turn aquaponics into your new religion and uh, Nate being your new prophet, then that's, that's fine with me. So enough of the ranting. We're going to move on here to uh, the tips and tricks regarding the 3DG towers. Um, I'm actually selling licenses. I can't believe it. Uh, got last time I checked. I have a hard time remembering numbers for some reason, but I think so far 13 people have licensed it. Um, and there's a lot of people that pop, uh, post comments on the 3DG Tower videos, asking questions about things that you know. I'm just going to do this here, and. Um, Try to cover everything best I can. There's a section of three. There's a section of three. Um, I printed some in fluorescent green, which I actually like, especially considering the, the fact that the fluorescent green filament is cheaper. Um, we have caps that go on the top, and people said that even though I told people you could just use PVC drain lines sliced into two inch sections for the base, some people didn't like the fact that they didn't match the color if they were printing in a different color. So, yeah, I went ahead and made a base. Um, I'm not going to print a whole lot of them. I might print them for the three towers that are going to replace those, but no, I'm going to keep using uh, PVC. But. Let's go through things one at a time here. Um, I have a canceled print here, and maybe you can see that. Yeah, you can see that the walls on the towers are about a millimeter thick, and then there's a web of little lines in between those two. Now, this wasn't planned, but it turns out to be a cool feature. This is kind of like the zip grow towers, every accidental thing that they... Uh, stumbled across they spun it and told pe people that it was a feature well here's a feature we have air between the walls guess what that means insulation whatever um if you look at one of these segments here we'll just take the bottom one off of there you can see that there are patterns in it from the 3d printer some people have actually said that they don't like that it's a good thing because all those little ridges in there that's more biological surface area that's more places for uh, your nitrifying bacteria to colonize it's not a bad thing um, if you don't like that if you want them to look a little smoother you can do what's called an uh, acetone vapor bath uh, that's where you can put these in um, any kind of a plastic tub I shouldn't say any kind of plastic it should be polyethylene or otherwise uh, the acetone is going to melt it um, if you don't want to use that you can use an old roasting pan but you put that on top of a plant starter warming mat so it heats it up and you put a couple tablespoons of acetone in the bottom set these on foil and as the vapors circulate through there they will melt not really melt but the, they will seriously soften the outside, well, all, all surfaces of the tower segments and make them kind of glossy. This is after one hour, and I found, I found that if you leave them in there for two hours, you can make them, make them look pretty much uh, injection molded, extremely glossy. So this is two hours. It all depends on what you want. Um, keep in mind when you do this, it smooths out the inside so you don't have all that biological surface area anymore, but not a big deal. Um, let's see what else. People assumed that I didn't take into consideration in advance that people would want to hang these. See, people seem to think that you can only hang things by supporting them from the top down. 
what happens if you support him from the bottom up? That was my plan. I, you know, I really didn't forget that people wanted to hang these. So that's why I came up with this base. And that's why I came up with the cap as well. Um, I'll show you something here real easy. Now these little pieces of foam, this is gutter guard, the exact same thing that uh, Hibco Plastics sells for uh, growing, you know, if you want to make towers like David Cunningham made or the guys at Open Source Ecology, this is the foam. Buying it this way, you don't have to buy it in bulk at $400 a box. You can just go buy these at like uh, $4.84 a strip at your local hardware store, or you can buy it off of Amazon or eBay. Uh, so when people say, oh, they don't sell gutter guard in my country, I'm going, yeah, but I'm pretty sure that Amazon and eBay sell in your country, so yes, you can get this stuff. And if you don't want to go through all that, use something else. It's up to you, whatever you want to use. I'm not uh, laying forth any rules here that you have to do this. But say you printed these bases, or you chopped them out of PVC. This is parachute cord. I covered this in another video. You tie a knot in it, make sure you heat up the ends with a fire, or use an electric hot knife to cut your ropes. But you tie a knot in there, put them through both sides of your base like that, and we'll, we'll grab a white one. What the hell? Run your strings up through your base or your tower segment. Put your, put your tower segment in there like that. All right. Throw your strings over the side. Take your little triangular piece of foam. Put it down in there so that the large flat or the, see that orientation, this flat edge is covering the planter pocket. Pull your strings over around it. Shove it all the way down in so that there's room to get another segment in on top. See how well that works? Let's do something odd. Let's take a green one here. Run the strings up through it. that in there like that. Grab another piece of foam. Put it in there. And you know you could just keep going. Make another white one. And see, this is another advantage over the zip grow towers. If you have to take these apart to clean them, you know, it's a whole lot easier to clean little segments or sections like that and go clean this. Wash it out under uh, cold running water. You know. Oops, I'm sorry I said something bad about the zip grow towers again. But, you know, I don't hear Nate... Uh, promoting other people's stuff, saying that their designs are oh so cool and have no flaws in them. Now we're going to take a cap. I'm not going to go very far with this. We're just going to take a cap here. Put the strings through the two outer holes in the cap. See, like that. Cap sits down inside, and as you can see, you can hang your towers. Now, people who think that I didn't think things out in advance and there's no way to hang these, well, here's proof, but I'll leave it up to you. What do you think a person should do with these two pieces of string on the end here to actually hang it? I mean, you might be able to tie a knot in there and hang them on a hook. Or you might be able to pull them up over a pipe and tie a knot there. But see, look at that. It hangs. It doesn't fall apart. Um, you could probably stack quite a few of these up and still be able to carry it horizontally if you wanted to. I think that's kind of stupid, though, because you're going to risk snapping your plants off. 
And then the hole in the center there. I always feed mine with a 3 8 inch vinyl tube. Um, if you're not you're going to use media, if you're going to do hydroponics rather than aquaponics, you're going to be using a drip irrigation line anyhow. Drop your tube through the middle there and put one of those little sprinkler heads on the end. So your water set, you know, totally covers the inside here and runs down. You're going to hit all of your planter pockets. So actually, I did think, think things out pretty well. Um, I guess that kind of... Uh, defeats this thing that Nate posted. I, this is on my Patreon page for the public to see if you want to go there and look at it. This is a message from Nate to me a while ago, quite a, a couple years ago, saying that I admired his designs. I'm going, you know what? I don't think I admire your design. Uh, your design has more flaws than features. <laughs> and if you ask him about any of these flaws, he's going to say that uh, no, those are features. But there's your quick little round of tips and tricks. Uh, all of these models for people that are licensing the, the 3D models, the, the bases, the segments, the segments in actually three different sizes, three by three, which are what these are. There's three by four and then four by four like those. I'm talking about inches, three by three inches, three by four inches, four by four inches along with all the bases and caps. Uh, there are even pre-compiled G-code files so you don't have to figure out slicing software. You can just uh, start using things immediately. But that's it for today. Yeah. That's it. Ooh, that was a little loud, wasn't it? So that's all I have for now. Um, I'll try to keep the next video shorter. Take it easy, people. See you next time. Bye.